I got some uh, I got some mac and cheese and I got some rice and peas, but I got the jerk chicken gra gravy. Oh. Is that what it up? Put you up probably. It was the jerk sauce. It was the sauce. It was the sauce. It was the sauce. You already know what it is. Breakfast Bars, episode 5. I'm your host, DJ Young Legend. Nerd Nash. We back. We back in the building. It's been a while. Took nice a little break. Nice little break. Um, You know, you were under the weather. <laughs> a little bit under the weather. I was going you, through it. You know what I mean? So we gave you, we gave you some time, a little extra time. Yeah, I needed it. Yeah. To get right, but you good. We, was, we wasn't BSing the fans and the people. Oh, well, you know what's crazy? I had my people, <laughs> my followers was getting at me. They, they know how I do with um dipping in and out with Church for the Wild. They know how I do. Yeah, it was like, come on, bro, don't start, don't yeah. start the BS. Yeah, I said, already, nah. it ain't me this time. He's like, it's me, my other man. I said, my man, DJ Young Legend. Yeah. we are gonna make sure we right. Yeah, we we wanted to uh, so, record, but I was too. I was under the weather, so we back now for sure. We back. We let um. We let the other episodes breathe. Yeah, we, yeah. Let people catch up. I seen the number. I be watching the numbers. Yeah, they going up too. They going. So up. we doing. We doing good. Um. Yeah. Feel good to be back. The rap game was a little slow. Yeah. And then it, it, it just, it's turned up a little. We got bit. some fuckery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A little Usually, bit of yeah, fuckery. A little bit. Yeah. Some interesting things. There's a lot been going on though. A whole lot. So it's just good to be back. Good to sip out the cup again. Yeah, we got the breakfast bars. We're gonna bring these mugs out soon. We're gonna have the merch. My mom says she need one. See? So the mom's we gotta take us. care of mom dudes. Yeah, my mom will hook it up. Yeah. What's been going on? Oh, legend. I say this has been over like maybe the past. Well, this has been happening for years. Mm -hmm. The last couple years, but quietly. Right. But over the last two, three weeks, it's been a lot of smoke for my man. Jay Z, yeah. Since right before the Rock Nation brunch, wait, I, I might have set it off. With you my might have set it off. <laughs> I might have put it in the universe. You might have set it off, but since the since the brunch, since the brunch, yeah, it's been a lot of. I've been hearing yeah. a lot of people. I don't want to say sneak this in, but they've been a little more yeah. vocal, yeah, about yeah. hold than you usually yeah. see because you know he's like the. He's like the business, the rap business, Jay Prince. Yep, yep. To where you got to watch what you say about him because he can make it hard for you. Forever. We're for not life. saying getting physical or nothing. He'll do it. Behind he'll do the it scenes. in the paperwork. Yeah, yeah. Behind the scenes. He'll, he'll mess up your paperwork yep. and you talk crazy yep. about him. But now, it's why he says Lately, we're vocal. It's been, I've been seeing a lot of funny. Lately's not scared no more. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of funny comparisons. Bob's putting up Jay-Z versus... Yeah. It's like, yeah, oh, since, since when we've been doing, I've been seeing Jay Z versus Futures. I've been seeing. Yeah, I saw that on Twitter. I saw that. Yeah, I, saw I, that I see stuff. 50, um, 50. First, 50 sent a little shot at him about him looking like a gay painter. Before that, and I caught that, and I'm like, oh. Before okay. that, he mentioned him during the Super Bowl. He was saying that Eminem would perform unless 50 Cent performs. So and that was a big thing. It felt like. And, and the excuse was that they tried to put him on the NFL that they didn't want 50 perform. But 50 made it clear, oh, no, this was probably a whole move. But M, M said, no, I can't perform. That's my man perform. So they've been having tension for years, though. Since 50 Cent came out on uh, I'm About a Dollar with the fucking 50 Cent, you know, with the Jay-Z uh -huh. line. So they've been having a little tension for a long time now. So so we got 50 says that. Then 50 go ahead and he says um, he thinks future – has the streets more than Jay Z? I, I, I agree about that. Though. Which is, I think, is obvious. But why? Why, why that say was, that? That was yeah. strange. Yeah, yeah. For, for him to even say that. Yeah, why put him in the conversation together? I mean, of course, future. Yeah, is. he's younger. He got the demographic. He, he's more consistent. You with ain't the music. really here. You're not gonna hear Jay Z. Fifty's at home. We're not in the streets. He that know, much yeah. too, too more. But it was just funny. He threw that out there. Yeah. And then we got we got your man. Well, my man too. Oh. I mean, Hip hop, hip hop fans, yeah. Big Gip. Yeah, I saw that on, one. Uh, shout out to the Art of Dialogue. Yeah, I think yeah, it's called. Yeah, yeah. He been having he he been having his Keith Murray type of run. He been going crazy. Yeah, shout, shout out to them. They they, they been consistent. Run that, yeah, they got good content. Whoever run that, they, they been going viral. good. They on Vlad ass right yeah, now. Yeah, they been going viral for last year. I'm not gonna lie. So they got the interview with Big Gip, and he. What did he say? I don't want to. 
I don't want to say throwing shots because it, yes. I don't want to feel like I'm, I'm being extra, but right. he's talk. He's doing a lot of talking about Jay Z. What did he say specifically though? Did, do you remember what he said? Well, he was he was saying he was saying Jay, he really Jay in the South. Jay Z not all that to them. We know. I think that's, and, that's and, you know he was comparing him to Three K. He was like Three K didn't have yeah. to rap about money yeah. or being. To, to be hot. I mean, I think that's a common common discussion though. We the South they, their legends is like the Scarfaces, the Bug Bees, and who are that the Master P. So it's like I don't expect them to love Jay Z. That's miles and miles away. We up here in, in the North, you know, East Coast. And you know what's crazy is Jay Z hasn't said one word. He usually don't. And you know he petty. He might throw he something. See it. He might throw something in the music or something at some point. But it's just crazy that we're seeing all a, a lot of before you didn't know. You can see tweets from regular yeah, people, yeah, yeah. but you didn't see it's blogs more consistent. about. Yeah, it's way more consistent now. And, and when I'm and even I've been seeing a lot of Pac. I've been seeing some Pac hang. I've been seeing I'm seeing, I'm seeing the kids getting that slick break on TikTok, and it's making me think. This is a disrespectful era. This is making me think. This is see, we didn't have a chance when we was young, right? Listening to hip hop, we didn't have social media, so we didn't get the kind of. Not shit on, but right. shit on right, 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 right. the elder yeah. generation. Yeah. We didn't get the shit on. We didn't have an outlet to do that. We didn't have the outlet yeah. to do that. But now. But now the kid, people can say, yo, Jay-Z ain't. Yeah, he we ain't don't that. look at him like yeah, y'all yeah, look yeah, at him. Yeah. We don't look at pop. Before, before it was this barbershop conversation. Now you can put it on you Twitter, can say, Instagram. Can say, yo, we don't look at pop. Yeah. How y'all look at him. Do you? How you feel about that conversation? I'm talking about Hove right now. How you feel about pop? that? As far as yeah, like him not being the greatest rapper or like the the best, I don't understand. Like, my my personal opinion, he top five stamp automatic. You could you could put your other four however you want, but Pop gotta be Pop was official. Five. Man. He was official. He covered some all people, bases. Some people don't, you know. He did the Hennessy enemies. You know, it was kind of bubble gum I mean, sometimes. That's one little bar, but you know. But his energy, his albums. His songs, his moments. His, he got a lot of come moments. on. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. Uh, yeah, nah. But it's just wild to see now. It's, it's anything it, downplaying it, our these, these are heroes, yeah, legend. Yeah, now they don't. They just, these are they, these are heroes. They talk they about They disrespectful, here. man. But I don't, I don't want Hope to say nothing. This, this is like, this is a part of the game. You gotta let the people. He's gonna say so. You know how Hope do. To, 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 going to, on. He gonna say something to get or just no. He's gonna he gonna he, he gonna have that one line. Make it broad that's in gonna general. Cover, yeah. It's gonna cover everything. One yeah. slick line. He responded to Phase on Love on that line, so I was like, I, I would be surprised if he said something about this. You know, but it's it's the disrespect is getting out of hand with the internet, and the, the thumbs and the tweets. It's just too much. Hey man, we all got a voice. You gotta love it. Yeah. You know you got, and you can hate it too at the yeah. same time. But it's just, it, it's wild to see Jay Z name getting. It's just a lot. It's more than I've ever seen, I feel like. Yeah, you know. On a blog, like on YouTube. Yeah. And, People don't care. Watch out. You know who's watching. He might, he, might send, he might send a tweet out. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. we going to see. But that's funny, the future and Jay Z, like. Yeah. Um, why, why even do that, though? Like. Two different generations. That's, yeah, that's, that's unfair. Yeah. You can't, you can't do that. Legend, Roots Picnic. When is it? This summer, right? June. I don't know the exact. They put a put a say, put yeah. a flyer up. Let's see who on a bit. For me, we have the annual Roots the Picnic. annual Roots Picnic, which is really, if you want to be real, it's like the. Is it June? It's like the Philly Rock Nation brunch. I can see that. Yeah. It's the it's the Who's Who of Philly now. Yeah, this, this is a loaded lineup. Yeah, you know you Philly. Yeah. Are you gonna be? Are you gonna be backstage? We might. We might be at in the, the roots picnic. I went last year. We might. We might be in the mix today. We might. Come go on. Us, we might do the media passes and Come be, on. be official. If you ain't in them grand picks. You got. You got. We got. We got, we got like the grand on fire. If you ain't in them Philly grand picks. I ain't, I ain't shit that weekend if we got the roots picnic. I'm about to take your Philly. Pass, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Delaware, so yeah. I, I, I'm just happy to be there. I, I got. I got to be there because I'm from Philly. I'm just happy to be there. I take my general business. <laughs> you GA. I take my Philly GA. Shout out to my plug. Shout out to the plug. You know. You know what I, mean? I, I know. take my Philly GA. 
But you, you no, it's us. We media. We gotta be media though. We can't mm. be GA no more. It ain't, it ain't about Philly or nothing. We gotta be media. We gotta shake hands and kiss babies, especially with this for our shoes. Because you know that's the Phillies who's who event. Yeah, I went last year. It was just that's all it was. Run us everybody I know. All the who's who's. See them festivals be. It's a different life. I can't stand up like. You gotta really be a real trooper to survive a whole like. It's like a, a working a job, like a fifteen hour shift. Like it's no middle ground for me. Like I either, I feel like you either gotta if you're going to the festival, you either gotta be on your fat pack. Yeah. Like you really yeah. gotta be ready to get Prepared, dirty and dusty, yeah. or you with the who's who backstage yeah, and you yeah. sitting down. Yeah. With the halves. And, and, and under, the air the have now. Under, the air, under the air conditioner. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but so my goal, DJ Young Legend, is to work so hard, I'm going to get you <laughs> back there with the, with the couch. You got, you got, it's his time with the, the comfortable couch and <laughs> the air conditioner. I'm not letting you play the fence. You know how you got to play yeah, the fence. Yeah. Call your man, play the fence. His phone died, his phone off, damn. Low legend calling me. The phone died. Yeah, no, we got. We, I need. I need backstage access. You know what I mean? The gram is pop. You on your phone looking at the gram. Yeah. And you like, damn, I'm yeah, not yeah. letting it happen. That phone will get happen. real. That phone will real. But the lineup is crazy. We got first of all the legendary Lauren Hill. Um, I don't know what time she's gonna show up. She's known to be late. You know. But shout out to her. Shout out. She threw this early shot at it. Dave Chappelle actually has a show. That yeah, I, I want to go to that. At the Wells Fargo Center. Center. Is it the day before? Yeah, is it? So the Roots Picnic is a three-day event. It's usually two days, but this year it's three days. Started off with Dave Chappelle doing a live uh, comedy set at the Wells Fargo Center. That should be crazy. Diddy is actually mm. going to be there. Back by the Roots. Mm. Live band. Diddy performing his greatest hits with the Roots is going to be crazy. Now. That's different. Hip-hop. Uh-oh. Hip-hop fact. Yeah, you know they had the roots and and, and bad boy had a little. Oh, you, 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 it was it was humble. That little, that little, little. They they did the video kind of mocking. Uh, oh yeah 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. so just that's like a hip hop fact. That's a hip hop sure. yeah, Wow. I yeah. just had to put that out there. So I guess that's squad. Yes, that's, that's old, no, no that, more beef. Yeah. beef. It's all love, like Diddy would say. We Diddy got... in the roots. So what? Hold on, slow down. Let's slow yeah, down. So let's get see what Diddy. That's interesting. What what's Diddy gonna perform? What are you gonna do? I think he got hundreds of hits. I don't know. I mean, I mean, he might dip into. Well, how you gonna? What do you think his approach is gonna be? guess? He might do a few guests. Uh, he gonna do the hits. What you want him to do? I want him to go to the the the, the real bad boy era, like with like the more money, more problems, and like. Mm, it, we need you definitely gotta have more money, more problems. Puff Diddy and the Family album, all that. You know, maybe throw some Biggie joints in there too. You know, he gonna he gonna keep it. Uh, he gonna go all over the place. He gonna do that, probably the R and B type vibes, you know, because he on that love R and B wave now. So it's gonna be. Who does he bring out? Predictions. I don't know. It's hard to say. I, I don't know. I would say Philly guys, but I feel like they gonna they gonna be they already there. So they probably already gonna be there with the reunion. So I don't does know. He bring out beans. No, he he. I don't think he gonna bring out beans because he might bring out freeway beans. You never know. But does they already he bring out Young show. Miami. Miami gonna be there regardless. If she Does he bring her out though? Probably, probably. I can see that. I can see that. Or he just do a set by himself. He don't need nobody. He's Diddy in the roots. Nah. Diddy is the number one showman in the business. He don't need no guests. Nah, he don't. Mm, Diddy. Back by the roots. Well, yeah, he don't. He don't. He don't really. need it. It would be a plus if he had certain guests. I can see him bringing a few people out, but that's that's is already dope already with him having the band. Um, we got. Little Uzi Vert, shake, shake, hit, the hit hips music. Is out. They gonna add a hit. That's out. gonna be the, the yeah. hit celebration right the, there. The hit music is gonna be live in effect with Uzi. He'll he will probably have guests. He's gonna, gonna have the, the dancers on stage probably. I'm sure. Um, that should be a live, a dope set for sure. Um, you, you said Young Miami. They have a set for the Roots Picnic already. City Girls, so City Girls. Yo, so there's gonna be J. Period. Live mixtape set, Black Thought, Eve, and Buster Rhymes. Eve performing in Philly. That's good, man. Buster Rhymes and Black Thought. Buster That's Rhymes. Go. Buster will turn it up. He's one of the best performers. He going to turn it up. Does he still have it? Yeah. I was asking. Hell I ain't yeah. seen him. He, he got the he energy. Got, he, he, he got a little big. He a little big. That don't matter. He got the energy. He going to have Spliff start with him. Spliff ain't going nowhere. He as... 
<laughs> almost used to crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> look as agile. No, he not. As he used to be. He still got the bars. He got the. He music. kind of buff. Now yeah, he, he still. Yeah. Him and Slip Star, they still got. They that. got it. They got it. They never gonna lose that. that Can they still give you that? You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that, they still, they, <laughs> yeah. They he got it. Was that? I, I I hinted to it. State property for the first time in over twenty years, probably <laughs> reunion. We got Beanie Siegel. Hold on, one second. Hold on, let me read it. Go ahead and read it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Beanie Siegel. Freeway, yes. Young Guns, Chris and Neef. Young Guns, Chris and Neef. Chris and Neef. That's what they say in the bill. Yep. Petey Crack. Yes. <laughs> you reading it right. Oskino and Sparks. I can't believe Oskino is doing this. After all the inner turmoils and issues. Is it going to be love? It don't matter. We don't got it. No, it do matter. We don't. Is it gonna? I don't know if it's gonna be. Is jig- it gonna be this or them? Or they? Oh, like how this set was. Oskino here and Seagull on, on, on the other side. Of the I don't know. Philly dudes is different, so it might it might be love on stage. To be honest, uh, I'm looking forward to that. I might go off of that just to see how that's gonna look. Um, that should be dope. They might have guests too, other than outside of them. Uh, I think I seen a flyer. Yeah. That Sieg and um, I don't know if it's the whole state prop, but they touring doing the Hot 97. No, so freestyles. When y'all see this, the show already happened, but Freeway has a show this weekend in Philly because he's celebrating his anniversary of his first album. Right. So, yeah, so during that show, they're going to be performing the Hot 97 freestyles live. For the well, first they got to do that to be paid. That would be dope, too. Yeah. So this if that is, all goes well, that might be the highlight. Yeah, this is a pretty stacked show. I didn't mention everybody, but we got Isley Brothers, Roy Ayers. They got a podcast stage, of course, with Charlemagne, Lip Service. Shout out to Mona. Don't call me White, White Girl. Girl She's podcast. on the podcast. Delaware. Yep, Delaware. Delaware. Shout out to Phelps. Yeah. Yes, um, this is a, a dope lineup. Little Brother. Little Brother on the lineup? Shout out to Little Brother. <laughs> No, they are. Shout out yeah. to Little Brother fans, yo. Yeah, they are on the line. Like, wow. All the Wash Dads. It's going to be dope. That's like, their fan base, the Wash Up Dads. We'll see in a few months. So we did, we did with our media passes in the mix. You know. Maybe Diddy, that's... Lauren Hill, Uzi, State Prop. That's a, that's a good line. Girls. Buster Rhymes, Eve. Buster Rhymes, Eve. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. DJ Drama. There's a lot going on. Podcast. The Philly Nation Brunch. Yeah, we got we gotta go. We gotta Let's go. see, legend. I got, you I got, got what? It's, it's, the time it's, is now. The second into up. March. Yeah, you yeah. got March, April, May. <laughs> That's it. Let's oh, get together. <laughs> I don't want to see you outside. I don't want to see you on the fence. <laughs> calling, calling, yo, I'm here, yo, yo. I don't want to see you on the fence. Oh, that's legend calling me. I got, I'm gonna call later. Guess what? I'm good. With, like I said, I'm good with my GA. I can't do GA this give year. Me, I did GA last give year. Me, give me three GAs. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. There's a lot of pressure. Like being media, I don't know. Like I feel like we, I gotta do. Like so, are we, we officially media. We are, by this by by June we'll be yeah, getting there yeah, over ten June, episodes in. So it's like we gotta be media by then. Yeah. I'm don't like, let me get media pass. I'm acting up. We got to. It's, we deserve it. We got to go we crazy. So, shout to the Roots Picnic. Shout to everybody involved. You know, we'll see you all down there. I just can't do the standing. My, my knees are yeah. hurting and shit. And that's the biggest thing about having those passes. Is that's the comfort, you know, moving around wherever you want to go to. So, we'll see what happens. And you can wear your good fit when you, yeah, when you, got, when you, got, when you got media pass or like, Backstage, you can wear your good shit. That GA, you get dirty, GA, you sweaty. Gotta wear, yeah. GA, you gotta wear your, your, your dirty air yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But shout out to the group thing at Jay Chappelle. Yeah. That's gonna be dope. Yeah, DJ Saucy Santana. You know you got to pull up. Yeah, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta pull up and Saucy. That's not my cup of tea, but some, you know, you, know you gotta you cover gotta, all demographics. You know, I gotta pull up. <laughs> you feel me? That's what's up. So shout out to that. Um, you wanted to touch on this Pharrell yes. thing, you know. Um, so Pharrell was recently appointed creative director of menswear of Louis Vuitton. You know, after replacing Virgil, again, you know, R.P. Virgil. I don't know what, what Virgil's title was, but I think it was in that same vein of, you know, creative director of Louis Vuitton. So, you know, that's the job that Kanye wanted, you know. And now I've been seeing a little bit of pettiness going on. Between consequence and push a T, and like so, it's it's getting a little. I didn't think about a little, that a little shots, right there. 
you know, Consequence said some things about, um, you know, Pusha T or whatever, about leaving good music. Basically, you know, saying, oh, uh, Pusha went back to his band, um, Pharrell, whatever. So, Pusha put a post up a few days ago, kind of, you know, you know, throwing a little shot. So, yeah, my man is the creative director now, Louis Vuitton. So, shout out to Pharrell. I forgot. Yeah, I, little, I didn't think about that. And, you know, Pusha out and... Perry, y'all in Perry. Perry, you know what I mean. <laughs> he, he got his 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 his, his he's little. Doing he's doing different things. He yeah. maybe we going into a new era of push. Yeah, this is this. Is, I mean, I fa- seen fashion week pushing. This is fashion. I seen he had his, he, you know, legs was out. Yeah, and all that. Yeah, this is culture pushing. You know what I mean? So that that's is what it is. I'm not a fashionable guy. Yeah, maybe he's doing. It's not my lane. Yeah, 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 on this. Yeah. You know, I wear I wear a beer hoodie. <laughs> Wild wine beer hoodie. Yeah. I wear a Wild wine beer hoodie. Yeah, that's not my lane either. See, but the thing is, I know Pharrell is stylish, and he knows he's been that for forever. I never really, I never. I don't want to say I didn't. I never saw the big deal about him in fashion because I'm not a fashionable yeah. guy. But it's just it's uh, a big deal for a company of this status to appoint a black another yeah again a black man a, 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 a job safe. like this. He's safe. Yeah, he's positive. He's yeah. not gonna talk crazy. Yeah, he will come and do the work. You, you know, know, you know how to stay out of the politics. You never hurt Pharrell or nothing. Yeah, and religion. You, he's a good yeah. guy. No, no scandals. Never. No, never. You gonna bring some. You gonna bring some waves to Louis Vuitton. You know, it's so. very safe. Yeah. You know, um, we gonna see what happens. Admitted, self admitted, he's a, he he has no problem snitching. Remember, you said that on Drink Champs. He did say that. Yeah, no nobody, problem telling. Nobody cared because he's not in the streets. So, and he's Pharrell. He's pro- unproblematic. Shout out to Pharrell. Shout out on getting that. Um, we'll see what you drop. You know, like I said, I'm not a stylish guy, so. That's, I can't see if it was a good call or not. I know all the fashion heads yeah. could tell me more. Yeah. Way out of my price range, you know. Maybe it'd be on sale somewhere, whatever he drops. Yeah. <laughs> maybe um, I'll uh, get, maybe I get his, one of his pieces as a gift. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But shout out to him. Yeah. That's a big move. I didn't think about that. Huh? Push said, you know what? I'm getting a f- Oh, what? Oh, shoot. I'm going to mess up the, the, the monetization. I'm yeah. the <laughs> producer fix that up, clean that up. <laughs> yeah. He said, I'm done with Kanye. They go right back to Pharrell. Going back to my man's. He got the deal. Yep. I'm in Paris. He did it sneakily, too. I'm in Paris. And he was nominated for the Grammy, too. That was Consequence's main, Consequence main thing was, damn, you nominated for the Grammy, and then you kind of turned your back on us and went back to your man. Yeah. I, I can see how Consequence can feel slighted. Listen, man. But Consequence like the most loyal dude ever to Kanye. So I, his, his perspective is always going to be different. Push your teeth. Gotta do what's best for him. It and is his business. Family, it's business. Yeah, and you know Kanye been a little problematic for the last few months, so I gotta step away a little. You know, pushing Pharrell doing their thing. But I just seen Push had the he was a, he had a little bag. I don't know what was he, he had a fake dog. I don't know he had what a was weird going bag. on again. We're not fashionable. We don't know. I, I don't know. What's yeah, that's the way. I'm just waiting on a mixtape with DJ Drama. That's all I'm waiting on. It might on. be an album they saying. So an album mixtape that's gonna be some some fire for sure. I want to hear some. I want to hear some good pure. Pure rap, pure lyrics. Pushy will give us those bars. He'll give us that. Um, speaking of pure rap, pure rap and lyrics. What we got DJ Young Legend yeah. this weekend. We got so much battle rap. Oh man, that I'm right, in, ready. It's like Christmas for me. This is gonna be the first weekend I probably actually sit down and watch a battle in a long time. Ladies and other non-battle rap. We Man, we you step back for about 10 minutes. Just give us 10 minutes. Pause. Take a break. We got a lot of, we got a lot of battle rap this week. We got, we got Remy Ma, Chrome 23, her lead. Yeah. We yeah. have the, we have the uh, Pat Stay. Oh, yeah. Battle, uh, yeah. the Pat Stay event. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, I saw So that. Saturday and Sunday, I'm locked Loaded. in. Loaded in the crib. Locked in. But the main battle of the weekend. Yeah. We got Philly's own Easy to Block Captain. Yes. Versus St. Louis own Hitman Holler. The remix the king. The battle rap community. <laughs> the Philly battle rap community calling this the Super Bowl. This might be a Super Bowl. Rap. That means we gotta win. You gotta win this. I was kinda hyped for it, but I wasn't too hyped. I'm more hyper now. And yeah. then they dropped the face off. 
Face off got a little intense. And, and you know this shit is like WWE. It's wrestling. It's yeah. like it's like wrestling for hip hop niggas. Yeah, they give you every time too. They get you every time. <laughs> they, they, did the, the they did the screaming, yeah. little chest pumping. Yep. They play into it. You gotta I say, oh, they get my fifty dollars, fifty dollars, whatever it is, yep. money, mom, You got it. Who you who who you got? What is this? Is this is this three zero hit man? Is it three one two. I thought one. about this, and I didn't. Pick my winner till I came in. Yeah. I, I wrote it down. Right. We in first of all we in New York. So the battle's taking place in New the York. Battle's in New York. A neutral area for both of them. Yeah. Well, it's a whole really whole team for See, easy. But you gotta think, New York wanted they wanted they want to hear lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They not gonna let you get away with no, no bullshit. No, uh, never. No. And Easy has that. He has that. He got. I think yeah. he has Hitman when it comes to lyrics. Yeah. Well, yeah. I can but see Hitman that. know how to perform. Hitman got the antics, the remix. He got his brother. Hitman Holler get the moving around on the stage. He spin around. He spin around. <laughs> he'll bring his, he'll he'll bring push his, his brother back. He'll push his brother in the battle. Yeah. You don't know. But he said he's not going to use no none of that. I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe it either. He got to. That's his thing. That's his show, man. Yeah. You know, but Easy know how to get in your face and talk to your soul. Easy not scared of no Hitman. It's gonna be a close it's battle. Basically, lyricism versus showmanship. Yeah, I'm going easy to block, Captain. <sighs> Two one. I'm rolling with Philly. I'm rolling with Easy. This is the battle. He's gonna become a legend. Yeah, yeah. And it's up from there. I gotta go eat, but I can see it going either way. I, got, I can't wait. I got hit made this off a of performance. I, I think I feel like Easy might take maybe the first round, but I feel like after that, Hitman will turn up the the last two rounds. You know, you but, got, so you got hit man. I got hit man winning it. Only, but you know, we, we gonna put a little. We put a we little. Say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ten dollars. Got ten dollars. We'll be back. We'll be back next week and see who wins. And we'll put. I'll put, if I lose, I'll put the money yep. right yep. here. So yep. you got hit. Damn. I got hit man. See, I love easy. You but going against Philly? Hit man is pol. He a polished vet. I mean, this, this is bright lights for him. This is easy's real first legit big battle. You know, they expecting Hitman. I mean, Hitman is the favorite already. I think um, Easy gonna come prepared, but I feel like that performance is gonna be too much for uh, Easy. You know, with the with the, like the antics and just Hitman's bars. He he's he a seasoned vet. He he gonna come with some he, some some shit for uh, Easy. Man, it's gonna be too much. I I, I got a maybe. I ain't gonna give Easy uh, Hitman a three zero, but it's gonna be close. Nah, no three zero. I, I don't want to see a three zero. Yeah, I, I want it. I want it to be a real legit battle between them. You know, they've been gassing it for a few it's months. Been, it's been a while since uh, us battle rap lovers. We got a, a good battle rap weekend. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to. So it. I'm yeah. hype about this. Not to them. You, uh, nobody be able to contact me tomorrow. <laughs> All right, we ain't coming outside. <laughs> battle rap. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? Um, yeah. shout out to Remy Ma. She she going crazy with these battles. Chrome twenty three. I'm supporting him. We might got. We might got. That's my bucket list. We gotta go to one of these battles. Oh, we going? We gotta go Listen, to one of these battles. Like you said, we media. We gotta go. You well, know, I can get in these DMs. You know, I, yeah, I, a lot yeah. of people follow me. Yeah, and that's the thing too. We gotta use. You know, a lot of these, these people yeah. follow me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tap into the battle we rap gonna, community. We gonna pop up some of these battles. Maybe Battle Academy, our Remy's uh, cat, URL, whatever the case may be. We gonna pop up. You know what I mean? And, and if, if y'all want to pay, you know, hey. you know they're doing a lot of paying to hey. get bloggers to not talk. Y'all hey. can pay us. Let's go. Send a check. We'll stop. Breakfast it. bars at Chrome, gmail. <laughs> <laughs> Chrome 23, send us a check and we'll be the official uh, the media outlet for the battle. Yeah, we won't even talk on, we'll, we won't even speak on the other league. Real talk. Yeah, we'll be exclusive to y'all. <laughs> we'll, we'll be compromised. Yeah. Send a nice we'll bag. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Um, What else we got? A lot going on. Uh, we put this now. You you brought this up. What this Bo- ti? Oh yeah. So Boosie went on Vlad TV the other day, uh, and they spoke on you know snitching as usual. Vlad uh, brought up that apparently Ti snitched on his dead cousin to get out of a a situation. Um, Boosie and Ti. Have a collab album on the way. Boosie, had, Boosie said had. they had a collab album on the way. Boosie said that shit is not coming out. He don't stand by no form of snitching, ratting, confession, or nothing with or dealing with no type of law enforcement. 
a, a few days later, T.I. did an interview saying, oh, I, I just embellished what I said. I didn't really mean that. Y'all tripping. Let's have a paperwork party. You put your paperwork on the table. I put mine on the table. I can't believe that you would bring this up. This is too much. And this is all going down this is, on Instagram. This is Instagram. YouTube. YouTube algorithm. I don't know what's going on. But I'm tired of this. It's like, first of all, T.I., you brought this to our attention about you snitching on our on your cousin. So how can you say, oh, you embellished it? Well, we don't know if you tell the truth or not. We're going for whatever you said. So it's like, we, we, we got to know if you're joking or not. He make it like it's a joke now. Oh, I was joking. Y'all fell for the joke. I was embellishing the story. I don't know what to believe with this dude. Well, I, well what I want to ask you is, were you anticipating a T.I. Boosie album? I didn't care about it. I didn't know it was happening. I didn't know it existed. They could leave it on the hard drive at, at this point. Because now I don't even know. Is, is, you know how I am with the marketing. Is this marketing for the album? Could this be a ploy? It could be. It could be. Hey, the pause is it because. It could be. The line of question because a lot of questions start off with Vlad bringing the, the 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 allegations up to Boosie, and that was a trickle down effect for Ti to respond to it. Like so, now it's like, oh, we talking about it? They'll make up again. They'll make up in a few weeks, and then the album will come out. They got us talking. So now, now I thought T. I don't know what's up with Ti. Ti a lot. I of haven't. I can't remember the last time I listened to some new Ti. I don't know since I was younger. And wasn't he, is he a comedian? T.I. T.I. got a lot of shit with him. T.I.'s son got shit with him. T.I.'s a whoa, comedian whoa, come now. On, see, uh, they, they in the news too much. Everyone you know in the news. Kids in it, yo. He's a, I was trying to He's of legal age, I think, though. But they got a lot of stuff with him. Yeah, now T.I.'s a comedian now. He's doing sold-out shows in the arenas. T.I. all over. He's a family man. He's all over the place now. So, And with the snitching, it's like... He been having issues since the gun case. Let's put it out there. Since that gun, when he got filled with, with the military guns and all that, he been having little rumblings of going there. cooperations. So, I don't know what to believe. You can't just all of a sudden pull out paperwork and we gotta just fall for your paperwork now. Honestly, I, I gotta be totally, I gotta be totally honest. I don't care, bro. It's, I don't care about the album. I never cared about this album that's supposed to come out. I'm just good. I'm good with just scrolling my phone and seeing this come up. And I just see who, mad at who. That's the most I want out of this. I'm, if the album come, it don't. If, if he a snitch, he is. If he lied, he is. How, is he, all right, I'm wait. So, so scrolling back, would you snitch on your, your dead no. relative? <laughs> he said no. too fast. He said no. <laughs> Do you think if you snitched on your dead relative, they will feel away about you snitching. Like, I'm dead. I'm dead. What am I going to do? Yeah, get out of this. If I was not on wood, if I was dead and we was in a situation and you told on me, yeah, tell on me. I don't want you in jail. I'm dead. So, it, well, so you know what? I probably, I might. So it's like, <laughs> it depends on the situation. T.I. telling was is that really, t is that even telling? Is that snitching? That's not. Bro, I don't know what the fuck snitching is anymore. I don't, bro, I don't care. It's too much. I don't care either. It's too much. I don't much. care about. I just don't even care. So I'm telling family and friends, if y'all are a buy in our situation, please tell me. Give me the gun case. Give me the case. Whatever Listen, the case. Yo, I can't do shit. I'm all dead. I care about is the music, and I don't. I'm not checking for their music. So that's it. It is what it is. And there's no disrespect. I love Boozy on Boosie on Vlad. I like wipe me down. You know. So, so that's <laughs> one thing. I'm, I'm a fan of his content, his interviews. But so you can't say you just here for the music though, then. You kinda kinda we here for the BS. That, I'm saying that's what I'm, as far as them two together. Oh, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But I, I support Boosie yeah. with his, his his YouTube content. Yeah. I'm not a fan of his music, even though I do play a, a song he got with Jeezy. I play that out like a couple times a week. Boosie got classics, yeah. T.I., I don't care about his music right now. No disrespect. He is a... Solidified legend. Wait, you got to say it. You is just... he, though? He's a legend, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. He's a legend. <laughs> Trap music? Off of that alone. Yeah. Yeah. I respect his past music. Yeah. And, and just leave it at that. I wish we could... That's the thing with the social media, internet. It, 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 it makes shit a little cloudy. Because, like, I want to remember you for certain things. 
that I remember you by. Now it's like the bullshit is overpowering all the stuff, the legendary you know, shit. Like I always say, it all matters. Like, what are you going to tell your grandkids about him? Oh, what are you going to say about T.I. to you, Grant? I'm going to say he's one he's of the best legend. rappers. He's a legend. You ain't, you ain't going to remember this shit. Yeah. You ain't going to remember In the grand scheme of things, I'm not, yeah. When you it's, old, it's, land, you got your grandbabies with you. I don't you. remember. Rubber Band gonna say, Man. Yeah, you going to say that T.I. <laughs> T.I. was a legend. Boosie yeah. a legend. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. This is just a little extra stuff. Man. Yeah, yeah. It's but if you told on, if you, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Because he said he lying. You know he's saying he embellished this. So you lying it. about that or you lying about right, that. Right, exactly. What is it? Which one is it? So, we'll see. We will see. Um, oh, it's still, we in February still, so it's still uh, Wayne History Month. It's still Wayne History Month. Shout out to Lil Wayne. Thank, I'm thankful for everything you've Flowers. given us. Yep. I have a Twitter follower. Well, more than a Twitter follower. Yeah. Shout out to Mag. Mm-hmm. She hit me up on Twitter. And she told me I need to address this. I need to say it. She Uh-oh. needs to see me say it on we got camera. It. We got it. That Lil Wayne is a better rapper than Jada Kiss. A Hard, better Hard. rapper than Jada? Lil Wayne is a better rapper than Jada Kiss. You got to repeat that in your head. Lil to Wayne make it make is sense. a better rapper than Jada Kiss. Can you say it? No, I can't. That's a that, that's a hard. I can't. What's stopping you from saying it? Jake is being one of the best rappers of all time. One of the best lyricists of all time. It's hard for me to say that anybody is better than Jada Kiss. It's like even like I don't know. What's that's, stopping you from saying it? It's something deep in your soul that's stopping you. I don't know. I look at when he got a lot of like he got good lyricists. He got like a lot of punchlines and funny witty bars. Jada is straight to the point, direct. Rap. That's why it's hard for me to say it. Jada Street, Street, Rap, Bars. We ain't got the albums, the mixtapes. That'll make him a better rap- lyricist, though. Well, see, we... Wait, she said rapper. When you're a rapper, a... it's... you thinking MC. Wait, wait, what does she mean? So you gotta make, a you gotta... better rapper... No, that's how you say artist. No, she said see, see, this is how we like to <laughs> move the gold coast. It's that old niggas. We try yeah. to do extra things. With, Wait, so what's a when you a rapper? What's a rapper? What's a lyricist then? What's the difference? That's that's the question. Then what's a rapper? What is a legit rapper? Oh, so oh, a lyricist is somebody that has lyrics. They can put words together, basically. <laughs> it was it was a rapper. I don't, you know, doing, see how you see how you doing a lot just because you. I'm trying to make it make sense. I don't know. I don't even know what that means now. If you if you make a rap, are you so if you make a rap, you're considered a rapper, right? If I if I, if I start rapping today, I'm a rapper. But to be considered a lyricist, you have to have lyrics. Who's lyrics. the better rapper? A rapper makes albums. A rapper has styles. A rapper has. Jada Kiss did all does. that. <laughs> what do you mean? Who, who's the better one to do that? All right, maybe she's right. Out. All right, yeah. In that sense. Lil Wayne, I guess I'm. Could, 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 I can see that. If that's the definition of a rapper, I'm gonna say this. I don't know. That's hard. That got me thinking. I'm gonna say this. When I'm a, when I'm an old grandpa right. and, I'm, and I'm, in my, I'm in my recliner <laughs> and my grandkids, my grandkids, granddad, who's better? They come running out. Who's better? Right. Lil Wayne or Jada Kiss? The hip hop old nigga in me is gonna lie and tell them Jada Kiss was better. Ah, uh. but deep down inside, we know he's not. He's not, yo. See, but by, by that he's time, not. you might be too old to remember. He's not. If they ask you that when you're 80 years old, you might. He's not. At the or something, I don't know. <laughs> he's not. He's a better MC. You said Jada Kiss, but he's not a better rapper. The rap when you a rapper, I it's a it. package. Yeah, I got it now. Wayne it's Hot Boy. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cash Money. Culture. Yeah. Culture. Uh, this game was a lot of culture too. He right But not more than but not more than Lil Wayne. More, and, but it hurts me to say. And impact. But it's Wayne history month, I gotta be honest. Damn. It, he is, yo. I can see that now. And when I saw cause I saw shout out to my man Black uh, one of the people I follow on Twitter, Black. Yeah. He brought up the question. Is Blue Wing better than Jada Kiss. Right. And it hurt. When I saw it, I said, 
Oh, that hurt. The, That's I, all when you first said that, I had to think about when it. When I read it, I, I knew it was Wayne instantly. But I said, I can't <laughs> wait. He was in denial. I was like, my heart, up. my chest. I was like, hold up, yo. Yeah. This nigga is. When you really think about it, sit down, he might be. See, cause. See, the thing is, when you get older, you gotta be careful how you're looking at hip hop. Yeah. We sometimes in my brain when I think about rappers, I think about a cipher. Yeah. And niggas kicking yeah. rock. Yeah. But it, it, no, it's, it's more it's than that. that. Yeah. Especially now, way more than that these days. Lil Wayne Brown and Jada Kiss, y'all. I'm saying it. He said it. I think we said it. Mm. You know, I had to think about it. You know? I heard to say, but he really is. Yeah. Shout out to shout out to Lil Wayne. Your month is closing to an end. A few more weeks. You gave your whole month. Maybe a week. Yeah. Well, I gave your whole month. We had to get some flowers. Love. Yeah. Shop, speaking of flowers, another rapper, this is off subject, Nelly Chopper recently gave Lil Wayne yeah, flowers right. too. Right. You know, that was dope to see that in person. You see, the, the, the youth don't shit on Wayne. They got their picks of who they shit on. They don't, they don't we Wayne. do them. We you know why? Lil Wayne I think more than the youth do. It's because I think they embrace the young thugs, and Wayne embraces that culture of the, the youth. So it's like... See, the thing is, Wayne went... He got different on us, and we laughed at him. We kind of picked on him. Yeah. But the youth embracing him. He was ahead of his time, even just the skateboard culture, the tattoos, the way his rapping ability, his look in general, the dreads. You know, that's what's going on now. You know, you see we young thug and everybody else. They look like Lil Wayne. <laughs> you know, so... Lil Wayne. Always. Jack's money, young money. Gave us Nikki Drake. You know, we salute you. They gave us Tiger. <laughs> Tiger <laughs> Twist. The line in the that was Tiger the had bar. Uh, not, wait, I'm sorry. He had songs. I didn't mean to say he had bars. He had, he had, he had some bars. Tiger had some bars, yo. He had some, yo. Uh, he got some. I don't know. Bars? If, if you was if I was kicking it and he kicked the rhyme, you would be like, ah. Right, Tiger got like hookah lounge vibes. Them songs they hear like Make it nasty and like them type. I don't know. He don't got bar. He got some good music though. Shout out to Tiger. I don't know what Tiger. Tiger had an OnlyFans last time I pause. I don't know what he got. I don't know what he got. Oh, last Tiger time I only... saw on um, social media, he got an OnlyFans. I don't know about that. I know Iggy is. What's her name? Iggy Azalea got an OnlyFans apparently. That's doing very yeah, well. I'm sure. I'm, it is. Her. I'm sure it is. Yeah. So. Shout out to her. Yeah. You know what I mean, but. What? I seen Drake <laughs> fake hinting Drake at making an exit from the game. He he had a sit down with Lil Yachty this week. What he said was, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be specific about what he said. Drake said, "I feel like I'm kind of introducing the concept in my mind of a graceful exit." That doesn't mean he's retiring today or he tomorrow. He said he don't want to go out wild. He said a graceful exit meaning when it's my time when I feel it. I'm going to ball out. I'm not going to hang to around. Milk, to milk the game. Yeah. For the milk, milk I ain't going to give y'all the black album. Then come back a few a, a few months later. That's what he's saying. And then he not he not come back like Jordan the Wizards, basically. See, the thing with Drake, Drake is so good. And he can do so many things. He can keep doing this shit till he's 60. He says he's been graceful his whole career. So anything he does is going to be graceful and at a certain level. He's going to... I mean, he, I mean, he played... He played tough, but he's not a tough guy. Yeah. He's not his content. He can keep. I don't know, see. He's a singer, so he can get into that lane when he. Hit. I don't see great uh, Drake ever retiring. He really might have like a residency in like Vegas doing like R and B mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't see him. He's always gonna be doing music. I feel like I said when he's 60, 70. I'm definitely gonna be old with my wife saying, "Baby, let's go. Let's go to the Drake show at the, at the in AC or something." Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's play the slots. At the casino. Play yeah. Play the slots and go see Drake. Drake greatest R&B cuts. Mm. So, you know, I can see that'd be dope. Yeah. Hope, oh. Yeah. Find your love and all. Yeah. Drake ain't going nowhere. He said that just throw it out there. Yeah, I think he said that just to you know let people know you know at some point I am going to leave. But right now he got the game on lock. You know it ain't he ain't going nowhere. Well, I do want to hear an all rap album from some, at some point from Drake. So you you saying you want to hear all not all rap, but I want to hear boom, I want to hear boom bap. Nigga, Chicago freestyle. I, I want to hear, hear real you, raps. Yeah, I want to hear him really rap. And he has it in him, but I think he always try to like cover all demographic and basic. Now fuck that. Just folk lock in with forty, lock in with like an alchemist. Mm. 
get some real legit producers in there outside of your camp. Give us some rep, Just Blaze. Give us, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That'll be yeah, dope. Imagine like that. Alchemist, Just Blaze, uh, Bink, a bunch of that. That could happen, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, give us some rap. Give us ten, ten rap songs. No, no hooks or no, no singy hooks or whatever. Just give us bars. Do not disturb type bar. You know, four a.m. or whatever. Drake, Drake ain't going nowhere. Drake, no, it's gonna be a long time. He, he's still, he, he's at the top. No sign. Well, is Drake at the top? I'm about to say no signs of falling off, but he's some all, people would disagree. He, he falls back when he wants to. He'll never fall off. He falls back. Um, he just put up a great project out with Twenty One Savage. So you know, who's a, I said he's at the who's at the top of the uh, the rap game right now? Is it NBA YoungBoy? Is it Drake? See, I, see the the, the I, top is relative. I'm not, what, I'm not. I can't lie. I, I'm not hip to the young. NBA, you know, I just know that the, the kids love them. I'm not, I'm hip, but I feel like, does it translate into the real world? Like, like with Drake, you know he can sell out an arena. You know his numbers are NBA high. I think young boy can. It's, but with young boy, you see the numbers on YouTube, the, but does it translate as far as like, or superstardom? Like, is he a superstar or is it like, it just solely like on the internet? Mmm. Mm. Cause like Drake is at the top of the game, sales, um, image wise, music, quality of music, consistency. But he's NBA Youngboy is more so like YouTube. More, he's, a, he's a social media superstar. I would say Drake social is more of every. He, yeah, he covers like, every basis, Billboard charts. I mean, I don't know because so then you like, have kids that you might have a, a twenty one year old that tell you, you know, NBA Youngboy is. A, and that's the thing we're older, so it's like we're not even in those conversations to have. So I, you know, I think in his own right, NBA Youngboy. Is killing that lane, but on the grand scheme of things, Drake still might be young, number one, number one or whatever. I think Drake is hands down. Oh, who and, else? And rap, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rap, yeah. Drake. yeah. Drake's the man. He's been the man for since. You know who they saying the man is though? Outside of Drake, Bad Bunny. That's the real oh, well, man. Oh, well, that's the real. Yeah, even yeah. Drake will say that. That's that's, the, that's a given. That's it's no competing with him. It's no yeah. competing. With him. That's, that's, that's a new music. Ain't new music you check for. I listen yeah. to the payroll. I listen to my man Mac Nickel. Shout out to his Detroit. I, I love the Detroit shit. Don Tolliver, a few tracks this morning. I, I didn't listen know. to Don Tolliver. I didn't listen to Key Glock yet. Yeah, I ain't heard Key Glock yet. Um, it was kind of quiet. Who else dropped? Uh, did you say Yeet? Yeet? I ain't, yeah. Logic. I don't listen to Logic at all. Logic. He dropped the project. You know. See, it's going to. I promised on the first episode I was gonna dig into these to these artists. I will, hey, but it's hard. Like I not right to, now. Give us episode ten. I can only. I, I'm try. I gotta care about what I naturally care yeah, about. Yeah. But I'm. I, I listen to payroll. I listen to keep. I listen to Tolliver in the gym. Yeah, I'm gonna check. Yeah, dig into that more. I'm gonna be honest. If if you want, if you need me to listen to Logic, I'll sit down. I, and listen to I don't it. even want to listen to Logic. Y'all, no, but, not. <clears throat> no. I'm Nothing's like, dropped yet that we need to do a full. It's been very quiet as far as the once we get a artists. big, a yeah, big yeah. drop, we are gonna do full breakdown. Like a Rick Ross or, like, or a Drake. Or, Jay Cole should be dropping soon. <clears throat> you know, that's something. Yeah, like, somebody we can break down. But he, yeah. I mean, no, no disrespect to them. It's but. been very quiet. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, that's yeah. crazy. We'll see. One last thing. Well, one last thing. Yeah. YG <laughs> charging people one thousand dollars. To have dinner with him, like, is it before his shows? I want to say it's, it might be after. Yeah, it's like a, it's called like a YG experience. Good thing, bad. I think if, if you're really a fan of the uh, stack, this is the same thing what Chris Brown did with like the picture for a thousand dollars. It's an intimate moment with your favorite artist. A thousand dollars to meet your favorite artist and take a picture with him or go to dinner with him. That's once in a lifetime. I don't like you. It's I, a hustle. You're making your money. You a good bag. You can do a nice And you're offering a lot. You do a big dinner, 12 fans. He ain't say it was a one on one dinner. Right. So that's the thing. You can let y'all right. know. This going to be long table party. You might make it to the whole restaurant. He might do a buff, old country and buffet. They, they, and then y'all all eat in there and then you just yeah. do a walkthrough. He might shake hands, a little selfie. Get you a, a quick yeah. 50,000. Yeah, yeah, he ain't say it was a one on one intimate session. So how, much, how much dinner with us? How much will we charge How to have dinner? A hundred? Two hundred? We can get two hundred. Where are we, we, we going to dinner? Where are we taking them? Steakhouse? We could do like a... Uh, 
I don't know. We'll figure it out. Del Frisco. 200, 200 to eat. We're doing 200. We get, we get 20, 20 people in. That's a nice little bag. We need, we need 200 for the dinner in the, uh, the live podcast. Right. Let's do it. No, shout out to YG. That's what do. I, I'm all for that, you know. Thinking outside of the box. The traditional, and this ain't the traditional days where you just take a picture with your artist at the concert, and that's what it is. That's how this hard. Who went up? You know? Yeah, it's tight. inflation. Shit tight. Yeah. $1,000 off rip. Shows ain't moving like they used to. Yeah. Albums yeah. ain't, you got album come, selling. Yeah. You see rappers getting podcasts and celebs getting they podcasts. It out. Yeah, you gotta figure it out. So I'm not mad at You it. said one last thing, but I think. We got ended with this. So you know, a few weeks ago, Lil Romeo went out, jumped out the window on, on Master P on Instagram, basically saying he wasn't who the people think he is as a I person. Wasn't that. I wasn't feeling. I wasn't feeling it. They made up shortly after that. Um, recently, um, DMV or DC artist Fat Trail been speaking out, saying Master P lied to him and Alley Boy. They were supposed to, you know. Mick being in a movie, he flew him out to LA. It didn't, you know, cap it didn't, you know, come out how they thought it would come out. Um comedian Jess Hilarious, she's saying she didn't get paid for I got the hookup too. What the fuck is going on with Master P? Is he is this what's going on? Nobody go back first it was his son. Now yeah. the artist is being disgruntled. Now comedian saying she didn't that's get what paid. I go back to, like I said, what's earlier? going on? They try to wash the old heads out, yo. Are they trying to do that, or are these people not really official people like we thought they were? Maybe Method P really is a, a, a okay. What if he's a flawed man? Maybe he, maybe he not shit. Maybe he's maybe he's just not shit. Uh, we, nah, I'm not gonna because people are people, you gotta realize we had this. Maybe old, he made mistakes. Look at all he's done in the game. He got a few slip ups. He might have did a couple of deals. It was iffy. He, he, Yo, you know on, what they man. say? They say never meet your heroes. And this, this is a prime example. Lil Romeo said this nigga is not who we think he is. He brushing the rug. Now ours is coming well, out. Who do we thing. think he is? This family man. Who? I this, never this, thought that. This successful person that has all his money. I never thought I did. that. You see the cars, you see the TV cribs. You would think his family being taken care of. Guess, who he, guess who he is to me? Master P. No, see, but the image wise and the. You would think it looks a certain way, but then when stories but come you know, out, you know how how life is. I, as an adult, no, that's the thing. As an adult, I do, but as I'm saying, as a kid, I would never think I would hear this type of shit. As a, an adult, I know real life goes on, real bills happen, people fall hard times, and you go things do things with your family. But as a, a 14, 15 year old kid, I would never guess he. They would call him broke. They call him a finesser. He just getting by with these certain deals. He not paying Lil Romeo. I would never think under this stuff, you know. Lil Romeo said he never received a rap check, a rap snack check. The the face of rap snacks never got a check. How is that possible? <laughs> that ain't right. Your man. dad changed your whole. You have who would you be without your dad? Because he was dead. He gave, look at the life Master P gave but him. But Romeo didn't ask to be here. So I think the thing is, it's like I was born into a year. You you did afford these opportunities in his lifestyle. You know how hard Master P worked. Yeah. He came from the project. He did, and I'm not taking that away. But that don't mean you don't got some fuckery with you either, as a I'm man. Sure we all we all it. do, yeah. We all do. We all got fuckery. But and I hate they try to watch the, us old heads out. Yo. And I hate hearing about this because we just want to see this see behind the curtain. Jay Z, Jay Z, Master P, Who Slick Rick, they smacking around on social media. It's not Slick Rick. Yeah, talking about his. I don't even want. I don't I ain't even miss want Slick Rick. Just talking about his rapping bubblegum rap. The kids making uh, fun of him on uh, TikTok, doing dances to his shit. Uh, I mean, yeah. See, they I trying to I, watch the old heads out. I, I I don't I don't like it. I'm not going. We for getting it. old and we witnessing it. Yeah, you gotta accept it. I, accept I don't know. I don't go for that, but you know, I, I don't like when the dirty laundry is aired out, and I don't like hearing about it because, like I said, I look at these people as a, a certain image. As a kid, I looked at these people a certain way. And now, as an adult, it's like, damn, I don't like how this is coming out or portraying to the we media. See more. Yeah, it ain't over. More. It ain't over. We saw Jay Z and Beyonce fighting in see, the elevator. Because the thing <laughs> is, back then, we only could see. What we saw in magazines. And on BET. So we read these stories about them and we get these pictures in our head yeah. of who they are. 
We didn't have Instagram to where you could you check him for getting gossip. Yeah, if if, if Bassett P Femi was disgruntled back then, they didn't we have would, Twitter we would, we to, to post about, about it or Instagram. Yeah. All we know, all we seeing is when he in front of the camera yeah, and lit. doing hootie hoo and being an ice cream man. But you know, shots to them. Shots That's how it is, man. That's crazy, bro. But anything else? I think we covered everything. You know, Bruce Pitnick, Jay Z, Master P, Drake. Keep your so. eyes out. Keep your eyes on. Keep. All my old heads, keep your eyes out on what's going on. How they doing our legends, yo? Yeah. The babies disrespecting our legends. Don't let them. Don't let them do it. They don't got. They can't. They got to let them. They can't. They can't control none of what's going on. Don't let them do it. Don't let them erase our history. They trying. But I, are we still doing a Max B watch? Like the countdown to oh, our release? I still got my list. We still <laughs> doing a Max B watch. It'll be home April. It is. It's March is coming up, so. We'll be home April, um, but that's all I got. Episode five. Episode five. It was good to be back. Be back, y'all. Consistent. We ain't go nowhere. We ain't quit on y'all. Salute to all the followers on Twitter. Yeah. Shout follow us. Breakfast bars. B R K F A S T bars. Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. For sure. Y'all can just find me. You can just type in nerdnash.com. Everything will come up. My Twitter. Nerd Digital, y'all. You got a, a dot com. Yeah, yeah, dot com. Just like you dot com, you, you, it'll take you to my Twitter, my TikTok, my IG, my Discord. That's lit. This show. That's lit. Church for the Wild. Shout out Coach Marley. Shout, Coach. Shout out Majestic Meese. Shout out our great producer in the house. Yeah. Shout out DJ Young Legend. Triple S Productions. Triple S Mother. God is looking crispy. Productions. I song. hope y'all have a blessed Whatever day this is, is whatever whatever day Saturday, is. Sunday, Monday, whatever you're watching. You're cleaning your house, you driving, you smoking. Lunch break vibes. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah. Another one. Another one. Another one in the books. Breakfast bars. <laughs>